Great, my name is Anu Bidani. I am the founder and CEO of STEM Minds. Um, it's a company I launched two years ago after transitioning from a corporate IT career of 20 years. Um, very excited to make that transition and uh, being a CEO feels great. <laughs> so STEM Minds is all about creating fearless learners. It's about learning how to learn. And STEM education, science, technology, engineering, math is a great facilitation tool to achieve those objectives. So I'm here all about making our young kids from four to 14 passionate about STEM, loving what they do, and basically positioning themselves for the life ahead that they're gonna have and choices they're gonna make. So there were two key motivators for me. One was personal growth. I am a firm believer of professional development and I felt there were some areas that I had to work on, so I wanted to focus on that. And one of them was specifically about being more vulnerable, being getting into public speaking. It was just something very hard for me to do, so that was one goal. And the second goal was being a new CEO. I wanted to be a high performance CEO. I wanted to be a leader who can execute and who can make this business a true success. A lot of times you hear stories about entrepreneurs starting, failing in the first two years. I did not want to be that sad story. So for me, it was all about going in as a winner and coming out as a winner. For me, it's been an amazing journey. Um, and it is a journey because, you know, you think like, oh, I've got it. And you realize, you know, I got it only 60%. I can move that 40% dial to become that 100%. So the incubator gave me the tools, the techniques to work through it, to make my ideas that I already had more perfect and more um, more ready for execution for success. Also, just the community. It was such a huge um, opportunity for me in a safe place. And that's what it felt like where I, could, even though being a CEO, I could feel like I could be vulnerable and I wouldn't be judged and I can grow and I can learn from others. And it, I have to say it was an amazing journey and continues to be an amazing journey. But working with you, I mean, for me, you've, you've kind of role modeled a, a personality for me and I love watching how you carry yourself, how you do it and, and I'm hoping I can learn. <laughs> I've learned a lot already so I, there's more I can learn but for me it's just that to take that energy that you bring in and that no BS attitude, just go there, get it done. I just love that, it energizes me, it gives me more motivation to go ahead and just do it. Um, and I carry that same spirit with my team now so they all know <laughs> what it feels like to be a go-getter CEO and just make things happen. Um, and, and, you, and you do that so well. So I truly, truly feel like I've learned a lot. Um, I've taken my tactical operational skills to a very new level of truly a CEO mindset and that's how I feel. Um, and I've seen the results. So, you know, that's a proof that the being in the repair, the impact for me has been huge. So there were two areas that were the most significant impact that I had. One was direct financial impact. Because I was so calculated in taking my learning, putting into practice and executing, my revenues have, by the time my year end comes, will be two and a half to three times what I had earned last year. So revenue impact's been huge. My social media has been awesome. Like I, from where I started, I have more than doubled all my social media followers. My email list is three times what I had before. So being able to take the learnings that I got and applying them in a very structured way for execution actually showed results. So, you know, I can say very confidently, it wasn't a theoretical learning. It was practical on the ground, get it done. Um, so that was a direct impact that you can quantify. I think as a leader, I, I feel like I, I became a better role model for my staff because sometimes I'm not fluffing, you know, I'm not fluff. I am, I say if I'm gonna do this, I will do it. And I think bringing that attitude of confidence to my team with the vulnerabilities that you have makes you human and real. And being able to impart those values to your team really creates a strong team culture. And I am very proud to say I have a very strong team culture. When I started, I had one staff. And I have gradually grown my team to a full-time staff of seven, 11 and a half or part-time. So my team is large, but all of us carry that common thread of you know, integrity and value system and execution and you know, really staying focused for why we're here and what we're here to do. So it just feels like my personal growth um, and being a high performance CEO, I have seen both of them in action and just not in theoretical words, so.